It's Wednesday, July 7th, and we're going to call this the prologue. Um, I'm in Alexandria Hospital. Um, cellulitis infection, and we're going to get into all that. So, in the last video, I spoke about lymphedema. And in short, lymphedema is when you lose the lymph nodes in your body, and it causes swelling to continue to grow instead of shrinking as they normally would. Cellulitis is the infection that is associated with that swelling. In short, when your lymph nodes are damaged or gone and you can't drain that fluid out of your body, eventually that fluid becomes infected and that infection will, in a vicious cycle, cause your limbs to swell and turn different colors. But more importantly, it sends you to the hospital and with a very, very painful infection. Um, this right here is a, a picture of my leg before my first cellulitis infection in 2012. And this is what it looked like shortly afterwards. Uh, this right here is what it looks like during an active infection. You can see that it's very, very red. When your lymph nodes are damaged to the point that mine are, Activity is your enemy. I remember this, it was 2014, a bunch of my friends came down to Virginia Beach to hang out with me. I remember taking this picture knowing I was in trouble. A week later, I was in the hospital. I picked up a job working security to make a little extra of ends when my daughter was born. I remember we worked Memorial Day weekend. It was a rough weekend. I was in the hospital two weeks later. Uh, a few years later, this was my high school reunion. We were up all night partying, drinking, having a great time. I knew that I was going to have to pay the consequence, and I did. More time in the hospital. It's just sometimes you know in the middle of an activity that, you know, you're in trouble. Took my daughter to a pumpkin patch. Oh, we had such a great time. There was a lot of walking. Uh, it's my nieces and nephews. Um, we were riding the hay, the hayride. We saw an alien. She had the time of her life. She doesn't look like it there, but she did. She had a great time. We all had a great time. But, um, I remember walking up the hill as we were going toward the car and I knew I was going to be in trouble. This was a particularly rough hospital stay because I was in the hospital right up until Thanksgiving. I remember I got out the day before Thanksgiving, I got out of the hospital. This led to my doctor, my daughter deciding she wanted to be a doctor. Um, she, she said, uh, I want to cure daddy because daddy's always getting sick and it was rough. It was rough on me. We actually shot a commercial for her um, one day. We were shooting a commercial. She got casted, but me and her mother also ended up being in the commercial and we were out all day at the National Harbor shooting. And um, we were having a great time, but in the middle of it, in the middle of shooting that commercial, I knew I was going to be in some trouble. Sure enough, two weeks later, I was in the hospital. Here's an adorable video of my daughter uh, coaching me through getting a flu shot while I was in the hospital. I hate how you she is to me being in the hospital, but as long as she's been alive, I've gone to the hospital three or four times a year. And that's when I'm working my best to keep my infections down. But any event, any activity can send me to the hospital. If I decide I want to have brunch with friends, if I'm standing up for too long, I know I might go. If I decide I want to catch a poker tournament, I know I might go. Picnic, my homeboy's birthday, I know I might go. I know that within two weeks, I'm going to end up in the hospital or that it's very, very possible. But I try to stay upbeat about it. The doctors tell you the only sure way 
is to stay off your feet. Leg propped up all day. Stay hydrated. Refrain from activity. I also have a pump that I use. Well, I used to use, but my leg's too big for it now. I'll show you the pump at some point in time. But it also hinders my ability to work. And that's the worst part about this whole thing. I can't stand for too long. I can't sit for too long. Um... I can't drive for more than, you know, 10 to 15 minutes at a time. All of these things put me in danger. And it's rough because I just refuse to lay around the house and not do anything. I don't like the weight that I'm gaining from it. So something's got to give. And these days I'm looking to be a little more aggressive with treatment and help and getting this thing figured out because to be clear, this is no way to live. Um, I'll be back with a few more videos. I have a video um, I'm working on about just normal chores around the house, a day in the life, blah, blah, blah. Um, also, with this last cellulitis infection, I am now getting toward the end of my medication, which is always a fun time because I don't know if that means I'm going to be good for the next few months or if I'm going to be back in the hospital with an infection in a few weeks because the medication didn't do the trick. You don't know until you know. But I'll keep you all updated. Um, keep firing off those questions. I'll, I'll have to do a Q&A because a couple of the groups I shared this in um, asked me some very good questions that I definitely want to answer. But thank you so much for your support, and um, I'll see you soon. Um, here's a video of my daughter trolling me in the hospital via her mother. Uh, and by the way, her mother and I are great friends. This is all in fun. What else? What else did your mommy say about my tummy? That you need to eat a lot of vegetables so it can be short and how it was. Okay. All right. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Just remember, Daddy's tummy was good enough for your mommy when we met, so yeah, she's good enough. For, okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. This is the Her House Podcast. That's my daddy.